If you need tons of storage space, Micro Center is the place to go. We have tons of hard drive and SSD options. And a few months back, I did a video about the Seagate 24 terabyte expansion drive. This is an external drive, it's a hard drive, 24 terabytes, that's a ton of space. But you know what's better than 24 terabytes? 28 terabytes, which we also have at your local Micro Center. And uh, 28 terabytes is a tremendous amount of space. I mean, I remember a very long time ago buying, um, you know, a hard drive that was like 20 gigabytes and thinking that was the coolest thing in the world. And even that's kind of big. Um, 28 terabytes though, that is leagues and leagues bigger. So with 28 terabytes of a drive like this, I have the 24 terabyte version open over here. Who is this for exactly, right? And there's a lot of different drive options available, and especially when it comes to external drives, a lot of people like to default to SSDs. Uh, I use them personally because they're smaller, they're easier to carry, and they're really fast because we do a lot of videos, clearly. Uh, but external drives like this actually do have a place and a pretty good function. I mean, first of all, it's really good cheap bulk storage, 28 terabytes or even 24 terabytes Check the links in the description below because they're priced really, really well. And if you need a lot of storage for photos, videos, backing up your machine, anything like that, an option like this, you can't go wrong. Now, I wanna do a quick demo because I have a couple of things open up over here because I think a lot of people have a lot more photos and videos than they think they do. I mean, first and foremost, my phone, this can shoot 4K video, so that fills up really, really fast. And this is only 128 gigabytes of storage in here. Um, I have a Google Cloud storage. I've filled up almost four terabytes of video just from my phone. And that's vacations, family photos, videos, all, all videos and photos of my son growing up. That fills up really fast. And so backing that up locally, well, you're gonna need some bulk storage like this. Um, I have OBS open over here, and a lot of people love to stream. If you're streaming every single day because it's important that you maintain a schedule, you stick to that schedule, you know, a minimum of like an hour a day. Well, if you're streaming and if you're recording any of that footage, and I have a plugin set up over here so that I can automate some vertical clips that I can generate from my stream, and I can take the clips, kind of press the button over here, it'll record that and get that ready for social, that piles up really fast. Uh, if you do any video editing, like I have DaVinci Resolve open here, and this is actually the project from the last 24 terabyte drive video we did, um, Footage for that adds up really fast. Our PC build videos, it's multiple different cameras. Each camera has a 128 gigabyte card and that gives you about two and a half hours of footage. Uh, we record pretty long on those and we'll do anywhere from two to four cameras. So you're looking at anywhere from two to 400 gigabytes of footage for a PC build video. And if you subscribe to our channel, you'll see we do a lot of PC builds like the one I have over here. Another option that I wanna throw out there, it's actually a really nice quick plug and play option for storage. For instance, the PC case that I have over here and a majority of the PC cases that we sell at Micro Center, they can usually fit about two 3.5 inch hard drives. Um, installation though is a whole other thing because you have to plug in the SATA cables, you have to make sure there's SATA power, all of that. Uh, for someone who builds a lot of PCs, that's pretty easy, I have no issue doing that. But if you, for instance, maybe buy a power spec or if you buy a pre-built and you don't really know what you're doing and you just wanna add some bulk storage but you don't feel like opening up your case to insert it, external drives, way easier. You just plug this into the wall, plug this into your computer. This runs on a USB 3.0, so it has a USB-A, plugs right in and it's ready to go, it's already mounted. One thing I wanted to demonstrate very quickly though, because I know a lot of people are already typing in the comments, oh, hard drives are old, they're antiquated, they're slow. They're not as slow as you think. Um, I have my project file from the last video that we did with uh, the Seagate 24 terabyte drive. Uh, this is with 4K 10-bit 422 footage shot on an FX3. Uh, I have the whole timeline open here. And the project is actually on the hard drive. I have it right here on the desk plugged in. So I migrated the project to this drive and you can see that playback, 23976, perfect playback right there. Um, that means that there's enough bandwidth there on that USB 3.0, on that spinning drive, there's enough bandwidth that this is playing back perfectly fine. And if you wanna look at things a little bit, so I have Crystal Disk open, I did that really quickly and you can see the sequential read and write you can also see the random which the random is not going to be great because spinning drives always perform poorly on random but sequential looks pretty good 
276 read, 267 megabytes per second write. Not bad. Definitely a lot slower than what you would get with an SSD, but that does not make it unusable. Um, now, if you want to look over here, this is one of the video files that I have that's in this project, and you can see the total bitrate, 101,600 kilobits per second. And if you're like me, where maybe you need a calculator to make that conversion, 101,600 kilobits per second to megabytes per second, you're looking at 12.7 megabytes per second. So if you look at the USB 3.0, it's a USB-A, sure, but five gigabits per second or about 500 megabytes per second is gonna be the maximum uh, speed there. And your maximum read-write on the drive, well, it's gonna be about half of that. But if you're looking at what's going through with the video files, 12.7 megabytes per second, yeah, I mean, I can edit this project no problem. Now, would I edit a 4K video off of a drive like this? No. I would do it off of my local storage that I have in my PC, and my workflow has always been to have a bunch of fast SSDs in my PC, work off of all of those, and once the project is completed, I export and I package everything into a folder, and I back that up onto my NAS or an external drive or some sort of bulk storage. Uh, sometimes I'll have hard drives in my case, I'll migrate it onto there, and then I'll make a copy onto our NAS, because we have a little uh, network that we set up here in the studio. Um, that way, if I ever have to go back to that project in the next six to 12 months, because 24 to 28 terabytes, well, that's enough for me to store stuff for a pretty long time, especially if you're looking at about 400 gigabytes per project. I can still fit quite a few projects on there before I have to migrate them off the drive to make space for new projects. So that means those projects can sit there for several months. I can always refer back to them in case I ever need anything from them, and that happens more often than you think. So that means if I have to go back to the project file, pull it off of the drive, everything is here, relinked all of my footage, I'm missing one clip because that was local on my other PC and I just never migrated it, but everything else is there fully linked up. So if I have to do an extra export, if I have to do any additional work, well, I can access it and I'm not running into any hurdles. All of my LUTs are on, all of my color corrections are on, all of our masks and other things are on there as well. Um, I think there's a little bit of noise reduction there going on too, and that's really gonna be more on the PC side of things. The whole point is, when you're looking at a drive like this, large bulk storage, it does have a place. It does have a use case, and I definitely think that if you do a lot of photo, a lot of video, if you do a lot of streaming or any content creation at all, you're gonna be stacking up so many drives. Now, if your needs are greater than 24 or 28 terabytes and you wanna look into some more redundancy, then definitely look at some network attached storage solutions. We have tons of those at Micro Center. But if you're kind of a run and gun shooter, solo operator, and you just need several external drives, drives like these, I have external drives, like hard drives like these, dating back to like 2005 that are still working and still running. And I've had that for 20 some odd years, I think. Um, so anyway, nice little history lesson there. But the point being is that it's a really good drive, really good price, and it's available at your local Micro Center. So make sure you stop by Micro Center, check out our wide selection of storage solutions. And if you don't have a Micro Center near you, then be sure to comment, hashtag I want a Micro Center near me. Thank <laughs> you.